Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Amy from Penvenger. Welcome to another Fountain Pen review. I am going to just simply tell you that you haven't seen such a interesting idea for making a fountain pen for a long, long time. In true pen venture style, like you're used to, we're going to begin with the customer experience, what you get when you order such a fountain pen. Then I'm gonna show you the details and information about this fountain pen model, this edition. Then side-by-side -side size comparison with different fountain pens, a writing sample with this gorgeous, gorgeous nib. And in the end, I'm gonna conclude everything in some personal opinions and we are going to end the video. So this is what you get when you order a Sailor commemorative rebuilding of the Hiroshima factory fountain pen model. So first of all, we do have this envelope and inside we do find a polishing cloth from Sailor. This is what you use to get your fingerprints of this beautiful fountain pen. Then we have two ink cartridges, which I believe are proprietary black ink cartridges. We do have the warranty of the fountain pen and moving further, we have the booklet with information about this incredible, incredible fountain pen. So I'm not going to show you too much details because I want you to find them in this fountain pen that we are going to see on the lid of this beautiful wood box. We do have laser engraved silhouette of the Hiroshima factory, which was rebuilt. And actually what is very, very nice about this new factory is the fact that it is shaped like a nib. And I believe it's stunning and interesting. And I do pray and hope that sometime I will travel to Japan and see this in person. And I cannot wait for that moment. So let's open up and see the fountain pen. Ooh, 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 ooh. I just love this pocket rocket to say so. This is the fountain pen and uh, I cannot wait to show you what details made it on this fountain pen from the whole process of rebuilding the factory. The Sailor Pen Company was established in 1911 in the city of Kure, which is a harbor city, a port in the Hiroshima prefecture. Over 111 years of heritage history in pen making. It is one of the pen companies that I am super, super proud to represent and to have as a uh, brand on the Penventure website. They decided to rebuild the initial factory that was used for making pens when the company was born. And uh, in order to do that, they had to clear out the yard and to make room for the new HQ. This is a huge, huge factory, which is going to boost the productivity of Sailor by 30%. So this is big, big, big. So in order to do that, they had to clear the yard of some trees, which were like 60, 70 years old. And uh, some of the buildings that they reconstructed were 70 years old as well. What better way to dispose of that wood than to just simply give it another meaning because it was there. It grew with the factory. It had seen countless hours of people working and making fountain pens and writing instruments, marking the rebirth of the company by being itself made into a fountain pen. Now let's proceed. Let me show you what are the details of this impressive creation. What we have here is Sailor commemorative rebuilding of the Hiroshima factory fountain pen, limited edition of 500 fountain pens. It displays a lot of different materials which are located at different points in the fountain pen construction. First of all, let's start with the finial. It is made out of resin, black. It displays this logo, the anchor. And like I told you, the factory is based in the Kure city, which is a port. And this is where we do have this symbolism with anchors and the maritime theme and the blue that was used on the company colors and everything comes from the fact that the company is based in the city of Kure, which is a port, a harbor, and this is where everything comes in regards of that. 
the black resin finial is divided by the wood parts of the cap by this ring right here which is gold plated then we have the clip of the fountain pen which is very practical and in regards of the looks it is similar to what we do have on other sailor fountain pens moving further the cap starts to pick up in girth from this point right here near the ring towards the cap band and we do have a very very nice way to transition in between the cap and the barrel and the ring right here facilitates that on the cap ring we do find sailor japan 2022 hiroshima and it's not like it's engraved or anything i believe it's stamped and it shows because it is flawless there isn't any sharp edges nothing whatsoever the sailor pen company is known to be one of the companies that are making in-house everything in regards of their fountain pens the nibs the feeders the materials for making their pens the trim elements everything in-house and their nibs are pretty much legendary there is no other companies that i know that are using 21 karat gold for making nibs i've seen nibs made in palladium at the visconti for example 18 karat 14 karat gold nibs but in regards of gold 21 karat the only company that i personally heard of it is sailor on the sailor commemorative rebuilding of the hiroshima factory we are delighted to find the 21 karat gold nib from sailor it is not the large king of pan 21 karat gold nib it is the smaller one which is also available on the pro gear regular series what you see laser engraved on the nib is a beautiful beautiful detail we do have laser engraved hiroshima factory 2022 the anchor logo 21 karat gold and the beautiful line motif all over the nib which actually is the old motif that was used on the early early first 1911 series fountain pen nibs this is another point another symbol of the sailor pen company which made it on this fountain pen so there is a lot of points which are just small minute there which uh, gives this fountain pen a very very special meaning moving further the nib is powered by a plastic feeder let's move further with the ergonomics and we do have this grip section right here which is very very comfortable i do believe it's the same like the one that we have on the pro gear regular as well then we have this ring right here then the capping threads which are not sharp at all but i don't believe you will hold the fountain pen like so by those threads unless you post this fountain pen we do have this metal part right here and then we do have the barrel starting it is displaying this beautiful beautiful uh, wood juniper wood that has this growth rings and each fountain pen is unique because the, the the wood that is used for making this fountain pen is taken from a different part of the the tree or the the rod that was used on the lathe and this makes every single fountain pen of those 500 unique if you look closely it is not lacquered it is satin it is polished but i don't know how and i don't know how a process can make this uh, surface to be very very smooth yet not uh, shiny or to draw attention it's like touching wood but every single touch is so gentle so so delicate and so beautiful so you actually get to touch the 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 soul and history and heritage of sailor with this fountain pen and i hope that my video shows this because i want you to understand the, the 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 surface and the texture of this impressive wood because i am not a fan of wood fountain pens but with this one it captured me on the spot right there when i seen it i said i want to have it in my collection and uh, we are arriving at the end point of the barrel which is marked by this ring right here it is the same like the one on the cap and as you can clearly see both ends are made in black resin on it you will find engraved the limited edition number let me show you the filling system and uh, inside you will find that this fountain pen is using the proprietary sailor cartridge converter 
and we do have a converter which is provided with every fountain pen and those two cartridges which are proprietary to Sailor you can use those as well and pretty much this is what I have for you in regards of details for the Sailor commemorative rebuilding of the Hiroshima factory like I told you this is part of a limited edition of 500 fountain pens that are made in juniper wood and there is another 100 fountain pens if I'm not mistaking which are made in a different wood evergreen magnolia wood and those are for sale only in Japan on the booklet you will find right here the the look of the two fountain pens the juniper and this is the magnolia evergreen tree as well on the other side you can see right here those are the types of wood that was used from the yard to make your fountain pen believe me the symbolism it's captured the rebirth of the hiroshima factory the old factory and also the rebirth of those three in fountain pens now let me show you the fountain pen and how it sits side by side other fountain pens and then we are going to proceed with the writing sample here we have the sailor commemorative rebuilding of the Hiroshima factory side by side other sailor fountain pens. We do have luminous shadow, pro gear king size, commemorative rebuilding of the Hiroshima factory, pro gear regular and pro gear small. As you can clearly see the pro gear king size shares a lot of details in regards of size with the commemorative Hiroshima factory fountain pen and the pro gear regular it is smaller so in between the king size and the regular the hiroshima fits perfectly let's have a look uncapped in this scenario the sailor commemorative rebuilding of the hiroshima factory shares a lot more details in regards of the length and girth and everything with the pro gear regular and the king size it is longer and girthier than it cap like this the fountain pen measures 133 millimeters posted like this it is measuring 155 millimeters uncapped in writing position like so it is measuring 115 millimeters capped and posted fully inked the fountain pen is weighing 35 grams and uncapped like this it is weighing 21.5 grams before heading into the writing sample let me tell you what i've overlooked the price of this fountain pen it is 970 euros novat and you can find it available at penventure as well we do have only one in stock we do have two but one is myself i'm gonna leave you a link if you are interested about this fountain pen down below and since you're here just hit the thumbs up if this is useful if you enjoy my content subscribe to the PMG youtube channel this will help me a lot now let's go into the writing sample because this 21 karat gold nib it's sublime pen sailor uh, rebuilding Hiroshima factory and uh, we do have the ink I've used this one which is Tatcha and this is Tsuki Tatcha uh, Tsuki and we have the nib 21 karat gold and this is a medium point and paper Tomo River paper 52 GSM we do have a Japanese fountain pen with the Japanese ink on a Japanese paper it couldn't be more better than this now let's give it a try in regards of the the wetness and uh, this is one pass we do have a moderate to wet ink flow this is a little bit more wet that i've seen on other uh, sailor fountain pens that i've tested out i don't know if it's specific to this pen or anything this is a double pass and moderate to wet but plenty of ink flow in regards of a sailor nib now let's have some normal figure of eights 
and this is a little bit more finer than what you find on a European medium point from Yovo or Balk in regards to gold nibs. Now let's have some flex, although I don't recommend flexing these nibs. I can say that if I would have to compare the 21 karat gold on this fountain pen with the 14 karat gold from Sailor, I do believe there is a little bit more give from a 21 karat gold nib than from a 14 karat. Now the famous sentence and let's let, let's give it a little bit of speed. Let's see how it's handling this nib. And we do have the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Since this nib is just stock like it came from the box and everything, I can say that we do have some sailor characteristic uh, feedback. This is gentle, this is uh, just like a very, very uh, smooth experience, something like a, a, a fine pencil, graphite pencil, uh, gliding on the paper. This is unbelievable. And l let's hear it. You need to try it in person just to, to see how uh, the feedback uh, just goes and translates into this very, very fine and luxurious writing experience with such a nib from Sailor. This is what is as a writing experience when writing with a uh, Sailor commemorative rebuilding of the Hiroshima factory. Now let me put everything aside and let's talk about some of my personal ideas and some personal observations regarding this fountain pen and everything. By now you are used to this part of my videos in which I am sharing what I like about the fountain pen and what I don't like about the fountain pen. And in the case of the Sailor commemorative rebuilding of the Hiroshima factory, I cannot say that I have something which I don't like about this fountain pen. Every single thing is just high on top and made me get this fountain pen for my personal collection as well. Let me tell you some of the things that you need to take in the consideration when getting this fountain pen. First of all, like I told you initially, I am not a huge fan of wood fountain pens, but I made it an exception with this one because it is made out to be very, very ingenious. So we don't have a wood fountain pen overall because if we do have that, it will be just in my opinion, looking a little bit flimsy. This is made using resin and metal parts and when you put everything together it feels a little bit more heavy a little bit more high quality and overall well well balanced anyway the quality of the wood it is sublime over the top we do have the satin look I don't know how they did it how it's polished and everything I love the sides I love everything both posted and unposted it's just perfect the, the weight distribution is perfect uh, no matter how you use it with gap posted or not, it is there. Perfect. Now, let me tell you what you need to take into consideration regarding this fountain pen. Wood and water or moisture doesn't go well. I am not keen to try on this fountain pen and to see if it's uh, just uh, coated in such a way with a substance, with, with, with a process or anything that repels water and uh, I wouldn't recommend you just washing this fountain pen and getting some water on that wood. Be very careful if you would treat this one like a resin fountain pen, put it in a glass of water and spilling water on that wood, I wouldn't say it is beneficial and it can develop in cracks and everything because wood is a natural substance that is expanding and uh, with moisture it changes its shape and everything. So be very careful when using water near this fountain pen or ink because ink actually can get into the wood and stain it. So again, be very careful. And this is just like my, my, my princess. I'm gonna be very careful when using this fountain pen and I am going to keep this wood like it is 
for as much time as I can. I do believe that in time, each and every single fountain pen will age and change its coloration, its, its texture. It's gonna be different and that will add a little bit more character to what already has. This is what I have on the Sailor commemorative rebuilding of the Hiroshima factory. A fountain pen that uh, just simply puts together a unbelievable concept in rebuilding a factory, giving another purpose or another meaning to some of the trees that resided in the yard of uh, the, the company that needed to be cleared out. That's it. Thank you so much. I hope you find this video useful. If you find it useful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll find the details for our website. You'll find the link if you want to get one of these fountain pens. We do have only one available at Penventure. Thank you so much for your support and what you did for Penventure. If you have any other questions about this fountain pen, use the comment section down below and I will be more than happy to help you with all of your questions. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe, just click there, turn the notification bell on and you will be notified whenever we have new content. Speaking about content, if you want to continue watching my videos, I'm gonna leave you this right here, you can click and enjoy. Till next time, take care, stay safe, bye bye.